Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 34. First the problem statement. Order status table over here is the input table and it has three columns namely quote ID, order ID and order status. Now based on this input table and the business requirement over here, we have to derive the output table where we have, where we have the quote ID column and the quote status column. Now let's see what the business says, business requirement says. So first line says when all the orders are in the delivered status, then quote status should be complete. So if you see the input table for quote ID A, we have three different ordered ID and we have different uh, order status. So, but for quote ID A, we, we have order status as delivered in all the three order ID. So, we are having quote status as complete. Now, if you read the second requirement, when one or more orders is in delivered status, then it should be in delivery. If you read note, order priority should be in del should be delivered first then submitted and created if one order is in delivered and the other one is in submitted state then quote status should be in delivery so it is telling if one order is in delivered status and the other one other one is in submitted then the then the quote status should be in delivery because we are giving priority to the deliver delivery that's why if you see in the quote id b we have uh, we have order ID B1, B2, B3 and we have the order status as submitted, delivered and created. So we have one status as in delivered and the other one is in submitted. So we will give priority to the delivery and that's why the quote status is in delivery. Now if you see the third requirement, when one or more is in a state, uh, one or more in submitted status, then the quote status should be awaiting for submission. So if you see the quote IDC, we have three different order IDC, one C2 and C3, where we have submitted, created and submitted again. So in that case, uh, what it is telling, if one order is in submitted and the other one is in created, the quote status should be awaiting for submission. That's why for quote IDC, we have awaiting for submission. In the last, if None of these three conditions are fulfilling, then the default quote status should be awaiting for entry. That's why we have in the D, we have only one order ID that is with order status as created and we have the quote status as awaiting for entry. So this is what we have to derive in the output table using input table and the business logic. So that's all for this uh, for this question. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. We can solve this problem by using CT that is common table expression. So before writing the SQL query, let's see our input table once again. So I'm going to fire select a star from order status. And this is our input table. Now We'll write the SQL query. So we'll start with with clause with CTE underscore let's say order as and we'll start the bracket and we'll close the bracket. Inside that I'm going to select star from table name that is order status now I'm going to replace star with distinct distinct column name that is quote ID comma order status from order status. If I run this sub query over here, you can see that we have the distinct order status. We For quote ID A, we have only one distinct status that is delivered. 
for B we have three distinct status that is created, delivered, submitted and for quote ID C we have two distinct order status that is created and submitted and for D we have only one this order status that is created. After that we are going to write another CTE let's say CTE underscore list as we'll open the bracket and close the bracket inside this I'm going to select quote ID comma and then I'm going to use string drag function inside that I'm going to to use order state column name comma and then we'll give comma and we'll close this bracket as we'll give name as list underscore status from ct underscore order and then group by quote ID so if if we try to see this table what it is returning select star from if I run this piece of code we will come to know that all the distinct order is coming in one one string separated by comma so if I see this you can see that that for each quote ID uh, uh, for let's say for uh, quote ID B we have three different rows but after using a string ag what we are doing we are grouping by quote ID and then displaying all the three distinct rows in one one row string so if i run this piece of code you can see that we have all the status in one string now what we will do now we are going to select quote id and then i am going to use case statement case when care index and then I am going to use status as delivered and it has to search where in list status so you know that care index is used to find a substring within a string so what we are doing we are, uh, we are trying to find that substring that is delivered in the list status and if that is found then we will get the char index it will return the position so what we are going to do equal to 1 and char index And then we will search comma in the list status. And it should be equal to 0. Then the status should be complete. Complete. Now I am going to copy this case statement again and I am going to paste it over here. This will serve the case statement for second scenario and I am going to change from equal to to greater than 1 and this equal to will also change to greater than 0 and the status will be in delivery and again going to 
copy this and here this we are going to write submitted and this should also be greater than 1 and this also be 0 and here we have to add another condition and care index of should be 0 in that case quote status will be awaiting for submission awaiting for submission this will be third business scenario and the last business scenario is the default one it will come in the else part else it says that awaiting for entry awaiting for entry and we'll end this case statement and we'll give name as quote status from table name ct underscore list so uh, let me explain this case statement so for the first for the first business scenario when the uh, quote status is is complete in that case what we are exp uh, what we are saying that uh, we have only one status distinct status as delivered that's why we are searching by using care index first function and we are searching uh, string delivered and if it is found in the very first position then that uh, that is uh, that is the only keyword is present uh, the delivered keyword is present and uh, if we are able to confirm it with the care index of comma if it is if its position is zero that means it is not present comma that means uh, we have only uh, delivered a substring is present uh, in that case the final quote status will be complete now in the second business scenario where we have the uh, all the three status that is created delivered and submitted in this business scenario uh, uh, we have the delivered status as well but we will have other status uh, uh, also it will be separated by comma so that's why we are searching whether the care index of delivered is present or not if it is present it will be greater than one and care index of comma will confirm that we have the other status also uh, other uh, status is also there uh, in that case that's why we are searching care index of comma will be greater than zero and in that case the quote status will be in delivery now in the third business scenario we have the care index of submitted so when it is submitted and uh, uh, that's why we are searching in uh, in the list status and making it greater than one and we are making sure that um, comma comma is also present and that's why greater than zero and care index of delivered should be equal to zero if it is not if it is uh, if it is greater than zero that means delivered is present in that case it will fall in the second category if it is in fall in second category then uh, the status will be in delivery but in that in second category delivered should not be the uh, present this that substring delivered should not be present that's why i have add additional condition and care index of uh, delivered should be equal to zero in that case we are giving the st uh, status as awaiting for submission and in the last scenario that uh, uh, that is the default scenario if nothing is fulfilled it will be awaiting for entry so if I run this full piece of code so here you go this is the result what we were expecting right uh, for the quote ID A, we have the complete status. For B, we have in delivery. For C, we are having a waiting for submission. And for D, we are having a waiting for entry. So that's all for this video. If you have liked my video, please do like it and comment, comment it. And if you know any other way how to solve this problem, please do provide in the comment section. Thank you and thanks for watching.